the old covenant was based on the commandments that God gave to the people through Moses. They were actually meant to help the people to remain faithful to God, to be united among themselves so that they can be strong to defend themselves against their enemies. And most of all, to help them to live a harmonious life based on justice and compassion. Unfortunately, my dear brothers and sisters, man by nature is rebellious. So it was natural for the Israelites to keep on breaking the laws. The second imperfection of the Old Covenant was that reconciliation with God was done through the sacrifice of a holocaust as atonement sacrifice for the sins that they have committed because the animal substitutes for the punishment that they deserve but unfortunately not everybody does it with sincerity with meaning with purpose it becomes an external ritual so the new covenant that jesus came to establish is different. Firstly, it is not based on observance of the laws. We are not saved. We are not justified by the laws. We are saved by grace, not by good works. It is because of God's mercy that we have been forgiven and we are saved. God died for us while we were still sinners. So we have nothing to merit our salvation. And that is the reason why even though we are sinners, the Lord will continue to save us and to forgive us. So salvation, therefore, is not a question of trying to observe the law. Salvation is really to receive the grace of God by believing that Jesus is the one who saved us of our sins by his death and resurrection. This doesn't mean to say, therefore, that good works are not necessary. On the contrary, now we can do good simply because, not out of fear of breaking the law, not as an obligation, but because Jesus gave us his Holy Spirit. His Spirit in us will motivate us to love and to do good as a response to God's love for us. When we are motivated by love, we can do anything, happily, willingly, joyfully. And this is what the Lord is doing for us, saved by grace, and we continue to do good because of the grace that we have received. But this is provided. We believe that Jesus is our Redeemer, Jesus is our Savior. And that's the reason why in the new covenant, the new sacrifice for reconciliation is the sacrifice not of an animal, but the sacrifice of Jesus, the Son of God. By his death on the cross, his blood was shed for us all so that we understand the price of God's love for us. So that when we see the blood of Jesus, his death on the cross, we will be moved to repentance because of God's unconditional love for us. That is why in the new covenant is the sacrifice of Jesus himself. That sacrifice which we continue to celebrate at every Eucharist. It is this sacrifice of our Lord that will bring about a reconciliation with God. This covenant is also extensive. The old covenant was only limited to the Jews. The new covenant is given to all. All those of us who share the faith of Abraham, those of us who listen to God and obey God, those of us who have faith in Jesus, we are all saved. It is no longer restricted to some group of people. God has no favorites. All those of us who respond in love, in faith, will also be saved. 